of network, maybe it is outside of network. It doesn't really matter for us. Okay? And then the system will go and ask for the BTS and then it's resolved. The DNS will say that this is the address. And the system will use IP addresses. This is one IP address. So it, you don't need to interfere with, with these kinds of things. That's you. That's your router. That one is the DNS server who will resolve the names and addresses for you. That's all. But we write the IP address in number. Yeah, it is number. No, here. The IP address. We wrote it as number. So, what's the difference between IP address and DNS server? Both of them are in number. IP address and DNS server? Mm -hmm. That's the IP of DNS server. Yeah. Each That's computer in the network. It's the same. I, I each computer in the network <laughs> got the IP address. DNS server as a server should must have an IP address. I mean, if uh, IP address is the destination. Mm -hmm. I will explain right. now. What is this? Global mesh. Different computers. Okay? We are here. We are here. Okay? Your IP address is 192.168.0.11. It's always the same. It's a different deal. It will be different. It's just an IP address. Or something. And subnet is two five five two five five two five five zero. Default gateway is one nine two one six eight zero one. DNS is first DNS one nine two one six eight. Zero and one hundred two. For example, preferral DNS is ten ten one eleven. Okay, you're going to find BTH dot SE website. It means port 80. Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't need to. Okay. He wants to view its website. Okay? Is that right or no? Yes. So, and this is the BTH. Let's find the procedure, huh? Let's figure it out. So you're going to find the BTH. Okay? This is you with this IP address. This subnet mask will show you that you're just this network. That's all. Mm -hmm. Not more than that. Okay? So you're going to this is a default gateway. It means that this is the IP address. IP address of the router. Router. And also router got another IP address like 10, I don't know, 8, 1, 2. So there are two addresses. So don't mix it. Mm -hmm. It's a router, okay? okay? Don't mix it. Here is the DNS server, the first one. Here is peripheral. Yeah. Okay? So, here is one. You want to find ETH at SD's website. Okay. You, when you type your address, it will search. Who will search? 
the DNS server in here will search for bth.sd. If, if, imagine that, you've got bth server here, your DNS server got his IP address. Is that right? If you want to see, I don't know, the other one's computer, your DNS server also got the IP address. Okay? But imagine that Sorry. DNS server... In, in this position that you are explaining, uh, bth.se is in our land, yes? I don't know. But something, maybe. We don't know. We are asking. First you are asking. Yes. We are asking. We are asking DNS. DNS. Do you have BTH or no? If, if it was inside our network, it is keeping the page. Finish. Then that that will be over. Mm -hmm. If not, he said that no, no, it's not here, and I don't have it. So who could, who should give us the address? The bigger DNS. Our database is limited. It's just limited to our land. It doesn't have all the address of the whole world. Mm -hmm. It's limited. Just have these items mm -hmm. in the network. No more than that. Okay, so we know that VTH is not in our network. Okay, we're going to this computer. We'll go to people's gateway. This is the browser. And ask the router that I want to go to BTH at SD. Do you think router knows where is BTH? No. He will ask from the DNS. He will go to prefer own DNS, the bigger DNS, with more database, lots of information, Google, Yahoo, lots of things. You can add three PDNS here. You can add more. Okay? So, router will go. here and ask, do you know where is BTH and here there's a list, it's just a list and says that, yes, I know where is BTH, BTH is 1980 That's all. The, the triple DNS will answer the router that I know that it's here. I know it's here, not more than that. And after that, the router will start again finding the address and says that I'm going to find your web server. How? Because it sends the request on port number 80. And there we go. And the DTH domain will see that. If there is any web pages, web servers, and there is a web server. And the router will take the page and will and the router will find the page and show you the result on your Internet Explorer. W -W -W -W. And you will see the thing. Okay. This is called match. This is called match. That's all. What is that? We can't go outside. We just tell the router that I'm going to view BTH website. I don't care if you've got the IP address. I don't care about anything. I just want to find PTH website for me. You can't go outside. So when you talk to your router and give him your packet, I want PTH.se in here. Go and find it. I'm just type PTH.se in my browser. And routers will go and find the content of the page and give it back to you. This is meaning of that. You can't go outside. So you you are giving the router the empty basket mm -hmm. and tell the router that go and fill my basket with the content of VTH and give it back to me. This is that that we've got at the beginning of the subnetting items. That's 
Bradley told us it's called Nat, and lots of people say, Nat, what is Nat, what is Nat, what is Nat, and he just says, forget it, I'll explain later. This is Nat. You can't go outside, so you're going to find someone who can go outside. You don't know the address of BTA. You're calling your own DNS server. He said that I don't have it. So the router is in charge of finding the <laughs> preferral DNS server and ask the preferral DNS server, do you have the BTH address? And he says that yes, I've got the address. And the router again starts finding it. Now it is something else. But it scales and finds the BTH and it's using the port number, it just finds the web server and gets it back to you. Did you understand? 